Creating presentation and web pages using Gamma AI is very easy to do. Today I am going to show you how to do it. First of all you have to open your Chrome browser and then search here for Gamma AI. You can see that the search is complete. And next you have to click on the first link. When you click on this link the website will open and it will look like this. Now you can scroll down and here you can see that you can use Gamma for generating documents and pages and even you can create your presentation. You can also see that creating a working presentation, document, or web page, you can refine and customize in under a minute using our powerful software. And if you scroll down you will find here some facilities of this software. You can also read it here, which is beautiful and non-brand. Make it possible and ready in one click. The first facility is no more slide masters or template lock-in. Restyle your entire documents in just one click. Use a flexible template to work faster. It's mean this platform give you some facilities you can also say that they give you some templates that you can use to create your pages, documents, and even for presentation. So if you scroll down at the end of this website page you will know that they have their social media links at the end. If you want to follow them in any of social media platform, then you can just click on it and you will redirect to their social media platform. And even if you see on the second column, at the end you will see that an option of language. It's mean you can access this website for this you can also use language in multiple language. And now if you scroll at the header of the website, you will see an option of templates. So when you click on it, then you can see that there are many temples that can be useful for your work. So now come back and here first you have to sign up your account on this platform. So first thing that you know that this platform is totally free and you can use it very easily. So now click on sign up for free button. And the next window will look like this. Here you have two options to create your account. First one is continue with Google account or next one is if you want to continue by manually entering your email. To do that, enter your email like that. And if you want to create account through Google account then click on this button. Next you will see all of your accounts that you have login in your computer. So you just have to choose the account which you want to use. And then click OK. And the next window will look like this. Here you have to set up your profile. So here are two steps that you have to complete before starting actual work. So the first step is to get started and give your workspace a name here. Next you have to enter the name. So you know that there are two options first is company and second is personal. So if you are a company then click on company button. And then if you are alone then click on personal button. And I go for personal because this is my personal workspace. And next you have to enter your name and then after doing this click on create workspace. The next window will look like this. Here you have to select why you are using this software. So first option is for work, for school and for personal use. So I am using this software for a personal use so I select this one. After this you have to select what kind of work do you do on this software. So you have to click on drop down menu and then you will see some of given options. So if you want to choose in one them you can choose and if you have another option then you have to click on another one. So now you have to enter. How did you know about this software? So how you know about this software? So here I will write how I know about to that as YouTube. So next window will look like this. The next window will look like this so first we are going to create our presentation. But if you want to create presentation, document, web page you can create here. First we are going for presentation. So just click on presentation button. When you click on presentation button, here you have to write the topic on which you want to create your presentation. So I write here this topic. So you can see that some of the question and some of the bullet points on college, which is why college matter is benefits of higher education and many other bullets points are here. If you want to remove one of them and want to add one of your favorite point, here you can just do it easily. So next you have to click continue button. When you click on continue button, you will see that next window will look like this. Here the main point is you have to select your template for your presentation in the left side of the screen. You can see that there are many temples here and you can see that I click on one of them. Then. And next you have to click continue button. After this you can see that your presentation is automatically started writing by the i software. So you can see your work. You can also scroll down. You can also stop for writing this. So after some time you can see that my presentation is fully created. So let's suppose if you want to change anything from this presentation, you have to select it. And you can see that I have deleted here and right here the best place to enjoy life and learn. Next look on the left side of the screen where you have many options, which you can use while creating presentation. So now you can see that you have many options but I am going to click on again. So I select this written text. And here you can see that you can change the color of this text and you can bold it if you want to underline the text you can also do it from here. So let's pose if you want to add YouTube video in your presentation. So how you can do it so now look on the left side of the screen. And you have to click on embed video button. So when you click on it, the new pop-up will shown here. You can see here you can add the videos from YouTube and Spotify but I want to add YouTube video. So you have to click on YouTube video button. 
Next you have to drag it your YouTube video option to the place where you want to embed your YouTube video. And here you can see that on the left side of the screen I got a box where we have to enter the link of the video. Next I go to YouTube and copy the link of that video. And then come back to the website and paste the link of the video here. You can see that our YouTube video is successfully added in our presentation. So now if you want to change the photo of this, then you have to double click on the photo and then click on the upper side of the screen on the gallery button. And in the left screen the gallery will open and you have to select the image which you want to add in your presentation. You can see that I have successfully added it in my presentation. Now come back to the main page. And now click on create button. And now this time we are going to create web page. So how to create web page? So first of all you have to click on web page button which is on the end of this list. So as same you have to enter the title of your web page. So now you can see that there are some suggestion on which you want to create your web page. First one is exploring the different types of rocks, photography, creative portfolio and many other. So I want to create my portfolio web page. So I click on creative portfolio for me. So when you click on it and then after some time you can see that. There are some points that I will create according to my portfolio. But if you don't like these points and you can also click on try again button and then new bullet points will show here. And when you finalize your bullet points then you have to click on continue button. And one more thing if you want to add or if you want to create your bullet points in another language then click on the language section and select the language in which you want to work on this website. And then after doing all of the setting you have to click on continue button. Next you have to select your template. So click one of them and then click on continue button. And you can see that I start generating your web page automatically. And even after some time you can see that my portfolio web page is successfully created. So if you want to change the headline of the portfolio you have to select the line and delete the name section and enter the name like I write my name. If you want to delete your sub headline, you have to select that sub headline and click on delete button. And now you have to scroll down and you can see here, my about section. So if you want to change the color of my about section name, you can select this and you can change the color of this action. So now you have to scroll down and now you can see that another section. And next you have to scroll down and here you will go to another section that is portfolio highlights. So here you can see that there is catalog in my portfolio highlights. If you want to change the picture in the first one then you have to double click on picture and then you have to select the picture from right side and then picture will automatically add it in the software. And if you want to change the name then select it and write what you want. Next section is very popular section. So the question is how you can add services boxes and how you can delete the services boxes. Here, if you click on the any box you will see the three dots on the upper line. And here you have some options at the last you have an option of delete. If you click on this delete option the current box will be deleted. And if you want to add the boxes then you have to click on the any of the box and then you have to click on the plus icon. So in this way you can add services boxes here. Next is client testimonial section. You can also customize this in the same way that we have done in the previous. Next you have at the last section that is contact information. If you want to add your Facebook, you just have to Facebook written word and then you have to paste the link of your Facebook page. Now you can edit your contact detail like email, phone number, website and you can also add your address. So in this way you can create your presentation and web pages in Gamma AI.